Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and today you would join your listening. But listening to me speak Russian. First, I'll have a monologue in Russian. It's going to be super easy Russian, easy vocabulary. I'm going to go very, very slowly. Of course, you're going to have Russian and English subtitles. After that, I'll break it down. Maybe I'll choose five to ten different words or phrases that you guys can take away from this monologue that are very, very useful. Okay? But if you guys want to train your listening in a more intense manner, check out our 50 Russian dialogues. We have 50 dialogues between two natives on different topics. And each of them, each of the dialogues will have the audio as well as also useful vocabulary. So you can learn new words from each dialogue and train your listening while doing so. You can either get the book itself all by, all by itself for $39.99 or you can get a part of our BFLink class Russian learning platform, which includes, of course, the dialogues, but also a whole bunch of courses, grammar, listening, speaking, a whole bunch of exercise. We have Russian content, which is like Russian shows and movies with subtitles and all great stuff to help you guys learn Russian easier, quicker, and more, inf and more efficiently, okay? Check it out and check out the Russian dialogues with the first link in the description. I hope, I hope you guys are gonna check it out and I hope you will like it. And now let's get into the monologue. I'll be talking about taking breaks and resting. Я бизнесмен. Я очень много работаю на себя. И зачастую я сам составляю себе расписание. Получается так, что иногда я работаю на выходных, иногда я работаю весь день, то есть иногда я просто не отдыхаю. Зачастую те, кто работает в офисе, у них есть выходные. И если ты не в офисе, твои коллеги не могут до тебя дозвониться, у тебя нет рабочего компьютера дома. И поэтому очень легко разделить дом от работы. Но когда ты работаешь на себя, мой офис – это и есть мой дом. И часто трудно разделить эти два занятия. То есть работу и дела по дому. И очень часто в последнее время я себе не даю отдохнуть. Даже на выходных мы разговариваем с моими коллегами, мы общаемся и пытаемся решить какие-то проблемы, я отвечаю на сообщения наших учеников и так далее. Я начал замечать, что у меня просто не хватает сил, что мне нужно отдохнуть. Я понял, что даже когда ты отдыхаешь, ты перезаряжаешься, и у тебя больше энергии на следующую неделю, и ты можешь больше успеть, ты можешь большего достичь за следующую неделю. И также, когда ты вот в такой долгосрочной усталости, то новые идеи к тебе не приходят в голову. Ты просто как бы плывешь по течению. И очень важно именно отдыхать и давать себе продышаться, просто выдохнуть, успокоиться, чтобы у тебя мозг начал снова думать на долгосрочные, ну, ставить себе долгосрочные цели. И вот поэтому я, я понимаю, что мне нужно больше отдыхать и устраивать себе такие выходные дни, когда вообще ноль работы, ноль, абсолютно ничего, даже не минимальные какие-то дела. And now onto the breakdown of this monologue. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven phrases, not individual words, but phrases that I have used in this monologue that I think you guys will benefit from as well. First one is на себя. На себя, I used it in the example when I said that I'm working for myself. I'm working uh, on my kind of business. So на себя means for yourself or for oneself. Typically, is of course used when talking about work. Next up is получается так что, okay? Получается так что, and then whatever. And the meaning of it is, it happens that something else. 
okay? Um, in my example, I said it happens that my work and my home is the same is the same place. So it's hard for me to just kind of separate between the two. So получается так, что means it happens that something. And then of course say whatever happens after что. Next up is зачастую. Зачастую means often or frequently or typically. It's when you want to describe something that typically happens. In my example, for example, uh, I use the зачастую, typically, uh, I work on the weekend. You know, it's something that happens frequently or often. Зачастую. Uh, of course, it, it, you can see the stem chast, and you might know the word chasta, which means also, you know, frequently or a lot. So this one is a similar one. Next up is легко разделить. It's easy to separate. So I want to highlight разделить here, which means to separate or to divide something. Uh, it can be used in many different variations. Like, for example, in my case, I'm talking about it's easy to separate work from home or it's not easy for some. So разделить can be used a lot when it comes to physical separation and se separating one from the other, like work and home. Next up is a great phrase, я не даю отдохнуть. The key here is я не даю, and then of course you can put whatever other infinitive uh, after that. Я не даю means I'm not allowing, okay? You might know давать, which is, or дать, which is даю, you know, conjugated from, which means to give. Or also this can mean to allow, like in this, you know, sentence, I'm not allowing myself to rest. That was the example that I gave, uh, right? So я не даю means I'm not allowing, I'm not letting something. Of course, it might be confusing that, you know, that means to give, like physically, here's a pen, right? I'm giving it. So this one can also be using, be used in the sense of letting or allowing something. And like I said, you can use whatever other infinitive, I'm not allowing myself to sleep. I'm not allowing, allowing somebody to curse at me or something, right? So stuff like that. Next up is решить проблемы. And the решить проблемы means to solve problems, or yeah, to solve problems. It's a great, it's a great phrase. I guess this one can be used a lot in many different examples, but it's not like this phrase has many different meanings. The решить проблемы means to solve problems. And the very last one is не хватает сил, which means to not have enough energy or not have enough strength for something. In my case, I was talking about that I don't have enough energy for me to. Uh, be fully attentive sometimes or for me for my mind to be sharp when I have to talk about new ideas or new things that we want to work on and stuff like that. So нехватает сил is a great one, but the highlight of this is нехватает. Нехватает means it's not enough or yeah, I'm missing something, okay? That's it. That's the breakdown of this monologue and guys, this kind of a breakdown is also there for the 50 Russian dialogues. In each dialogue, you're gonna get a list of useful vocabulary that you guys can learn from. So check out the dialogues right here. And like I said, you can get it either as a part of our Bifinon class platform or just by itself, but pay a little bit more upfront. All right, I'll see you all over on that page.